In this video, we'll walk through how to begin receiving orders from Lightspeed K on Fresh KDS. Fresh KDS connects to Lightspeed K like a printer. To do so, we'll be creating a printer, a printer profile, and a production center in the Lightspeed back office. Then, we'll assign the production center in any accounting groups that we want to receive orders from. To begin, we'll need to do some configuration on the tablet we're using for Fresh KDS. First, download the Fresh KDS app, log in, and select Lightspeed K as your point of sale. Next, we'll need to make sure that our tablet has a static IP address assigned to it. A static IP address will ensure that this tablet's IP address does not change, which is important because the tablet's IP address is how Lightspeed K finds Fresh KDS. These exact steps may be different depending on your tablet's brand and operating system, so you may need to use different instructions for your specific device. First, navigate to your tablet settings, tap on your connected Wi-Fi network. Under IPv4 address, you'll see your automatically assigned settings. Make note of these because it will help us on the next step. Tap configure IP and select manual. In the first box, enter your desired IP address. If you don't know what to put here, we can use the IP address that was automatically assigned. Next, enter the subnet mask and router address that we noted on the last screen and tap Save. Now that we're done configuring the tablet, make sure you keep note of the IP address and we'll move on to the Lightspeed back office. Log in to the Lightspeed back office and from the left sidebar, select Configuration, Printing, and Printers. Towards the bottom, click Add Printer. Give the printer a name and enter the IP address from your tablet. In the driver dropdown, ensure that Epson TM88 is selected and click Save. Next, we'll go into Printing in Printer Profiles, click Add Profile, give this printing profile a name, ensure Copies is set to 1, and select the printer that we just created. Then click Save. Then go to Printing Production Centers, click Add Production Center, Give your production center a name. Select the printer profile that we just created. In the supported order types dropdown, select either your desired order types or leave it at all orders. For the checkboxes, you can use any of these options. However, we recommend leaving print wider lines turned off. Set font size to small and click save. From the left sidebar, we'll click Menu Management and Accounting Groups. Click Edit next to the desired accounting group, and under Production Center, select the Production Center that we just created, and click Save. You'll need to repeat this step for each accounting group that you intend to send orders from. Now we're done with the configuration in the Lightspeed back office. Next, open the Lightspeed K point of sale app and log in. From the bottom right, tap settings and reload your new configuration. Once the new configuration loads, go back into settings and tap printing center. Here you'll see all configured printers from the back office. Towards the bottom, you can see the new Expo Printing Center that we just created. Tap on that to send a test print to your KDS screen. You'll see a test print appear on your fresh KDS tablet. And now we can send a real order through to confirm that we have everything set up properly. I'm going to send an item from an accounting group that we assigned our production center to in the Lightspeed back office. 
Now that we see the order appear on our fresh KDS screen, we've confirmed that everything's set up properly and we're ready to begin receiving orders.